All right, guys. On the East Pearl, I'm gonna start out the day today. Uh, Mr. Jeff Brule and uh, Luke O'Neill. We're gonna try to put some bass in the boat. Uh, now, Jeff, this area has, has, has perplexed me for quite a while now. And what, what, what are some of the basic things that, that you, when you're first starting out with this river to, to remember? Uh, tidal water is the tide dictates where the fish are gonna be. Basically what I tell everybody, if the tide's going out, you wanna fish drained. If the tide coming in, just fish down the bank. When the tide's going out, the drain's obviously going to hold more fish because it's pulling bait and stuff out of the shallow water. Mm -hmm. And when it's coming in, the, the better fish on the bank, they're going to be scattered, but you cover some water, you're going to catch some fish down the bank. What about river levels? What, what are some things to watch out for with that? If you look at the uh, Pearl River gauge, Louisiana, Pearl River, Louisiana gauge, and if it's below 10 feet, usually the water is inside the bank and you can catch fish. Ideally, uh, summertime, you want it to be anywhere from about six to seven. The west will start getting clean and green and the pearl, really east pearl, real clear today mm -hmm. compared to even just about three or four days ago when I came. But usually about 10 feet and falling is what you want and that'll give you better water quality and fish will be where you can catch them. Well, what's the plan for today? What we're gonna, what we're gonna do? Well, we're gonna incoming tide, about a foot and a, to one tenth to more than a foot today, coming in from early morning to about noon. So we're gonna, probably fish cypress trees along the bank to be our prime target and we just move we're going to go up and down the banks on the main river and try to find some isolated fish and hopefully by the end of the day we'll have a limit of fish great well i can't wait let's get started all right sounds good like that you'll be doing good. Yeah. Take a little tournament fish. Can get, that'll help you get something here you tell out later. Yeah. Yeah, he hit it like he's supposed to. Yeah, that was nice. You know, maybe they're not on the river. Just you know, the pattern might be drained. Good right? fish. Sticking with that buzz bait. What time is it? It's uh 9:45. 9:45. Still hitting them on a buzz. Oh, you Fish. Bringing 
Got him through the hard part and you missed him. <laughs> I guess they were out of that. He hammered that one. Another one, another one. Get him in. Get him. Get him. Get him in. Good one. Yeah, that's a good fish. Well, that was a pretty successful day, huh, guys? Wasn't bad, wasn't bad. No big fish, but we had a good time. Missed a couple of nice fish today. Had a couple of blow ups, but no tide movement today for some reason. I don't know if it was the west wind in the lake. And that's one thing to take away is the low bus train will impact the tide on the river. because the tide was coming in all day, predicted, that's what I thought, so you always have to check them and really our best fish come out of the drain. Do you think they're there just because it was falling and that's where they were and they just stayed or? They had a little slight fall to the water. Okay. Yeah. I think sometimes they just coming out of the woods, the river's falling pretty hard right now in the west and I guess the fish are coming out of the woods and that's just where they come out first to the main river is out of the drain. Yeah, because that was amazing. We'd work our way down the shoreline. Not get a bite. Yeah, and then right, right when, when that drain was in sight, that first point, it was like to that second point. Yeah, yep. they were in there. Yeah, but that's, that's pattern fishing on the pearl. Some days you just run sight from trees. Next day it might be drains. Next day it might be points down in the marsh. So you just have to kind of figure a little pattern and stick with it. And no specific bait either. It was, now we, we started with a buzz bait day. this morning and um, we did pretty good. Luke was catching them pretty good on the white buzz bait. And, them on some rivets. And later today we went to some Havoc plastic and some Choo Choo's Texas rig on the bottom. That was pretty much as the sun got up. And the tide went away from the deeper with plastics and caught fish. Right, I was surprised how long the bite lasted actually. It stayed pretty pretty good throughout the heat. You know, the heat yeah. sun got up at that, that angle that it used to shut things down. But, uh, That's river fishing. The water stays pretty pretty cool on the river because it's always moving. Uh, yeah, of course you get these still days. No